G'day everyone, it's Bo from GrowthWise and welcome back to another Zero Demo video. Today we thought we would go through public holidays, seeing that the Australia Day public holiday is this weekend. It was a pretty timely thing to make a video about it. So if you've gone on our website, you would have noticed we've got a blog article about this as well. And one of the things that we mentioned in there is just where to actually find the list of holidays. So we'll go through that quickly now. In the top left-hand corner where it says your zero organization name, click on that, click settings. Once you're on this page, you'll then need to click on payroll settings. And then once here, click on holidays. And this will give you a list of all of the holidays that have been preloaded into zero. And then you can also look at the ones that are there broken down by state. So if I click New South Wales, for example, it'll give me all of the holidays that have been preloaded into zero based on the state as well. So this is just so you can see what zero is actually going to reference when you use the public holiday function within payroll. On that, if you want to actually use the, pay the holiday function within payroll, we go to payroll and then employees. This setting has to be done per employee. The reason for that is you obviously you may have employees in multiple states, so you can't just globally apply the setting. We're going to look at James LeBron at the moment. And then we're going to click on employment. And then if we scroll down, once the page loads, we're looking for the setting that says holiday group. Now it is optional because by default, Zero will just basically look at the pay template and use that and not actually consider public holidays at all because if you if it's still a 38 hour week, Zero is just going to pay that. But it's a lot more beneficial to actually turn it on so it's very clear to you, your team, your employees, what's happening in terms of weeks where there's actually a public holiday. So to actually set it, all we need to do is turn on the state here. And then what we normally suggest doing as well is click on include holidays in pay slips. So you can see holidays from this group will all be automatically added to this employee's pay slip as separate earning lines. So if I click on save now, that's all done for James. If I go to payroll and then pay employees, I'm going to add the pay run, fortnight ending 28th of Jan. So it's going to cover the 26th of January Australia Day public holiday. Now, if I click on James LeBron, you will notice that it's actually split out the ordinary hours and the public holiday hours. So we've got the 7.6 showing separately. That's because we've turned on that include holidays in public in, in the pay slip. So it just makes it a lot clearer. So if I switch to another employee now, Oliver, for example, so you can see for him, it's just said 45.6 at the normal rate because he's part-time but there's no actual splitting of the public holidays. So just to reiterate what we went through before, all we need to do to change this, payroll, then employees, jump into Oliver, click on the employment tab, scroll down again, went a little bit too far, holiday group, say New South Wales, whatever state you're actually setting it for, Include holidays and pay slips and click on save. If I go back, payroll, pay employees again. By default, this is probably not going to automatically come through. So if it doesn't, all you need to do is scroll down the bottom and click on reset pay slip. And you can see now that it's actually split it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Oliver is a part-time employee. So what Zero will do, unfortunately, is it will apportion the hours based on a pay template. So if someone is part-time, just make sure you actually adjust these hours for it to be correct. So, uh, so if he did, obviously he's got the 7.6 hours here and then whatever the hours were that were part-time in the rest of the period is what you need to change this to. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is in Zero. They haven't actually done anything about fixing that. I don't think they will, unfortunately. So if you do have part-time employees and you turn this on, just make sure you adjust the actual hours that are shown to reflect the hours that they've actually worked because it's just going to apportion it over. So the money at the end of the day is still going to be the same, but technically to be more correct, you want to show that they're getting paid for a full whole public holiday if they were entitled to that as well. So that's all you need to do. Basically, you just need to go to the employee, turn on that holiday group and say whether you want to include it in the pay slips or not. That'll then give you this line for when you do your public holiday payroll processing. Hope this has been helpful. And if you'd like to see any other videos, you can jump on our YouTube channel 
and also our website growthwise.com.au. Thanks.